Hi everyone, I'll be showing you how to bypass paywalls on sites, so no more seeing this when accessing content. For those that have been trying to get bypass paywalls clean, then you may have noticed that it's no longer available and had been taken down. But the author had made it available elsewhere late last year, so I'll be showing you where to get it and to install it. So go to the link seen above. You may notice that this looks similar to Git. So this site here is the equivalent to Git, but in Russia. And I'll be doing some checks on the file before installing. And also all the files can be opened and viewed as this is a repository, just like Git. Now on the site, it's in Russian. And in Google Chrome, you can do a Google Translate. But really, when you scroll down, you'll see in the readme that all of the instructions are in English. So I'm going to be doing this for Chrome and I'm scrolling down and under the installation, I'm going to be using Chrome. So I'm going to be loading the unpacked. All right, it's done downloading. I'm going to open it up and I'll do a quick scan. Right click, show more options. I'll scan with Microsoft Defender and it says here no current threats and one file scanned. Okay. And the next thing I'll do is I'll use virustotal.com to check it out. Virustotal.com and I'm going to choose my file, download and select it. All right, and it comes up no security vendors flagged, this file as malicious, so that's good. And we can scroll down to see it all. Scroll back up. Going back to my folder and I'm going to extract it. Extract. Okay, and I'm going to open it up. All right, and here are all the files. And like I mentioned, you can just open it up if you want to view it. Open up with Notepad. And so you can see all the contents. Right. And I'm going to go back. All right. So I've unzipped it and it's been extracted. And then three, it says here to move the folder to a permanent location on your computer. Don't delete this file after installation. And then now I'm going to go into the Chrome extensions. Going to enable developer mode and then I'm going to load unpacked. And then I'm going to select the folder that has the JSON file and then select folder. And then we'll see it come up and it lists all the options here and it lists all the sites that it's going to cover. Just going back up. Here are the opt-in options. And so there's custom sites opt-in and it's currently set to no and then check update opt-in. So it'll check for updates of version on startup and when opening options. It's enabled to yes and set cookie opt-in to no. And if you're not sure, you could just leave it as the defaults for now. And I'm just gonna close it. Going back to the extensions. I'm going to test it out. So first I'm going to do a baseline and I'm going to disable it first. And I'm going to visit some sites. So first site I'm going to visit is Forbes.com. And I'll click on a link. All right, and the pop-up automatically comes up here asking us to subscribe. Next site will be barons.com. I'm going to scroll down. And same thing here, it's asking to subscribe. And the last one I'll do is WSJ. And I'll select a link. and it's asking to subscribe. So I'm going to close the tab and now I'm going to enable it. Open a new tab. 
I'm going to go to Forbes.com. Try it out. All right, so the content is coming up. And there's no pop-up here, so this is good. Next one I'm going to do is Barons. And checking Barons. All right, and we can see the content comes up here as well. It's working as expected. And next, WSJ. All right, so we can see the content coming up as expected. Now I haven't checked or will be able to check every single site, so I can't say that will work for everything, but for the tests that were just done, it's working as expected. So that's all for this one. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.